I don't think you're ready, according to Elf. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally playing with and testing out something that isn't eyeshadow. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my eyeshadow palettes. They are probably what I own the most of when it comes to makeup, but I feel like that's all I'm reviewing lately and I'm like, ah, time for a break. Let's try something different. What we are talking about today is from e.l.f. Now I don't do a ton of e.l.f. reviews on my channel. In fact, I don't think I've really reviewed anything from e.l.f. on my channel, so this is even more exciting. These are their brand new jelly highlighters. I have two of them in front of me. They did launch three shades. I purchased this directly from the e.l.f. website. I really couldn't find these anywhere else, at least at the time that I ordered them. I ordered them, I want to say it was close to two weeks ago, and I just recently got them in the mail. I thought I bought all three, but when I went back and looked at my order, I guess I only picked up two. When I saw these, the first thing I thought of was the Farsali Jelly Highlighter. I don't know if Farsali was the first brand to launch something like that, but I think they were. The ones that I tested out on my channel several months ago was the Alame Jelly Highlighters, and they were a total fail. Because to me, when I look at it, don't get a ton. It just, it looks very chunky. I am not a fan of chunky highlights at all. I didn't like the texture. They were almost kind of foamy, and it didn't really do anything at all on the skin. I am hoping that these e.l.f. highlighters are not the same case. These colors look absolutely stunning. I picked up Bubbly and Dew. You get 0.44 fluid ounces in each one, which is kind of a lot of product considering something like this usually goes a long way. Let's do a couple of swatches and then I will actually try both shades. We'll use the fingertips. We'll use a sponge. I have my Morphe Highlight Contour Sponge in front of me. Let's dive in and let's get going and try out these highlighters. All right, so the first one I have this is the shade Bubbly Camera Focus. This is a very loose formula. I feel like if I tip it too much, it might actually spill out of the container. Just want to kind of show you guys the texture. My hands are so dry, so please excuse that. It's that time of year. I'm pretty much a dry cactus. But anyways, this shade is straight up like champagne. That reminds me of this, the name Bubbly fits it perfect. A lot came off in the cap here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dab my finger in here. I'm just going to go ahead and take my hand and let's just go ahead and do a swatch. Wow. Hello reflective. That is gorgeous. This is almost like kind of like a rose gold platinum-y soft gold reflect, I would say, like champagne. That's exactly what it is. It's very stunning, very reflective, and that was just me dipping my finger into the cap. So as you can see, this is a very reflective formula. I hope it translates the same on my face. Let's dip into the other shade here, if I can get it out of the box. And I already ripped the packaging. Does anyone else like that? I feel like I have to hoard packaging for a while. It's so weird. Next to my desk or my vanity thing in front of me right here, I actually have a pile of packaging, and it's like, throw it away. What am I doing? So again, this is the shade do. Again, same type of texture. This one's a lot more gold. I would say this would suit medium, deeper skin tones. Really no scent at all. A lot in the cap. So that's what we're going to take our sample of. I'll dip in with the other finger. This one almost looks like it might be duochrome. It seems like it has a lot of different kind of micro reflex in it but just as beautiful. Very reflective, a lot deeper, fair, light skin tones. Probably stay away from this one, but oh, that is gorgeous. Um, we are prepping ourselves here for a blinding highlight, it looks like. I want to try both on my face just to kind of get an idea of what the shade looks like. I want to start off with the shade Bubbly, and I'll just go on this side. My skin is in desperate need of some highlights. I have a full face of makeup on. It's so weird. It throws me out of my element. When I put on a full face of makeup and I'm doing like a review like this and I have to like skip a step and then get on camera so I can do the demo, I feel like like I'm out of my out of place or something. It's so weird. I'm like, <gasps> I need some highlight. So this time, let's just dip right into the pot here. So as you can see, this is very jelly-ish. It's very strange feeling loose. It feels much more like the Farsali highlight versus again, the Alame ones that I tried out were not. I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to put on like a shit ton of this. Like, I feel like I have so much on my finger, but forget it. Let's go. I'm just going to go ahead and dab this on my cheekbone here. My only beef with using my fingers, holy shit, 
we'll get to that in a second, is that I feel like I can't get as precise of an application. Um, but <laughs> that is a glow. Let me try to blend this out here. Try to angle my highlight downwards this way. It's funny because I heard Tati talking about that recently and I was like, girl, yes, I feel you. I feel like I like my highlight to kind of almost go on the apple of my cheek. I think that's really cute. So this does dry down quickly. It does not feel sticky or anything like that. It actually dries down almost sort of feels like a powder. I feel like you have to work with it very quickly. Otherwise it will stay exactly where you put it. So right now I feel like I kind of have like a strip kind of thing going on. But nonetheless, when the light catches that highlight, that is absolutely stunning. But yeah, if you work quickly, it does blend out and that is absolutely gorgeous. Like it just catches the light that is so gorgeous and reflective. I'm gonna go on top of it. I'm gonna use my sponge here. I'm gonna dip right into the cap because I feel like there's so much product there. You guys, let's just go to town. This is a demo. Oh, okay, holy smokes. Okay, that is intense. Probably should have used the tip of my sponge. That was my bad. I went in and got a little overzealous. I have to run to Target after this. People are gonna be like, damn, she likes her highlight. A tiny bit goes a long way, but I can't stop looking in the mirror or looking in the monitor because that, this is probably the most blinding highlight that I own. And I have to say, I really like the way that it's blending out. It's not grabbing, it's not exaggerating texture in any way. It is just absolutely stunning. I would just suggest tip of your sponge and going in that way, or maybe starting with the fingertips and then going in with a sponge and then dabbing it out or even using like the edge of an angled sponge like this. But that, that is popping. All right, let's move on to the shade Do. This is the darker gold shade. All right, here we go. Round two. I'll try a little bit of a different approach. I'm gonna use more of the tip of my finger. And again, it's reflective. Now I do feel like this color is darker. So medium to darker skin tones, even deeper skin tones. This is going to look stunning on you. This kind of reminds me of the Super Shock Highlighter from ColourPop in the shade Fire, I believe it is. And then also like the Royal Glow Highlighter from Becca. It's just, it, it's a little bit more of a metallic versus like a pearlized finish where this one is very like pearlized and reflective where I feel like this one's a little bit more metallic and blends right in with your skin. Let's go ahead again and try a sponge. Now I'm gonna try this flat end of my Morphe sponge and I'm gonna dip it back into the cap just to get a little bit more of a precise application and then let's try that again. Yes, this is definitely the best way to apply this is just a little bit more precise and then to just kind of blend it out. That shade is stunning as well, but I do have to say I'm kind of fond. I would actually mix these, I think. I think that these would look gorgeous mixed. This one's a little bit more subtle, gives you more of that like ethereal glow from within, and this one's just like, bam, yeah, highlight is popping. I think I'm gonna take the shade Bubbly and put that down the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose. Dip in with my fingertip here. Everyone always comments. One girl was like, "Your the look was looking so good until that nose highlight, yikes. It's like, really? To each his own. Me personally, I like my nose highlight to be popping. So to each their own. If you don't like that, well, then that's the great thing about makeup. We can do whatever we want with it. Yes. So I think that bubbly is my shade. I'm gonna go in with that with the sponge and go on top of the shade Dew just so I can match. And see what these look like together. Yes, they are gorgeous layered on top. And you can just kind of take the bigger part of your sponge and blend it out. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Obviously I have a shit ton on this side. This one's a little bit more controlled, a little bit more subtle. So obviously this is more like the way I would typically apply my highlight. Not so much like this, but I still think this is absolutely gorgeous. So would I say that these $6 jelly highlights from e.l.f. are worth it? Definitely. They dry down beautifully. They do dry down quick. Um, they're still in my hand and I even try to wipe it off. So I feel like they do stay. They don't exaggerate texture. They're extremely reflective, gorgeous, pretty easy to work with. I would say if you want, again, to reiterate a more intense effect, 
definitely use your fingertips. Um, the sponge will disperse it a lot. So if you also are looking for that, you like want something super intense, go for the sponge. You can layer them. They work perfectly fine on top of each other. But I do think that bubbly, which one is it? This one right here, bubbly. This one is my favorite shade of the two. Well, I like the shade Dew. It just doesn't give me enough. I like something that's a little bit more bright, a little bit more pearly looking with that champagne -y, very light gold mix in it. I think that this is what that shade is giving me. So for six bucks and this formula and the amount of product that you get, the fact that it has minimal ingredients, there's no parabens, and it truly gives you that jelly wet texture. And this highlight does look wet on the face, even though it completely dries down. There is absolutely no stickiness. This is 110% worth checking out. I think that this would definitely be a massive dupe, especially the shade Bubbly for the Farsali highlighter, that first shade I think that they originally launched. This is very close to that, at least in my opinion. And for six bucks, you can't go wrong. It's stunning and it definitely gives you a crazy beautiful glow. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Share it and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you love me, show me some love and just hit that bell button you guys. Nothing would make me happier. It would make my day. I love you so much. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys. In tight out of bet bet bet. It, 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 can I talk? Why did I put gloss on over my lipstick? I hate gloss over lip, lipstick. I can't even talk when I'm not even planning to film. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Why do I look so washed out right now? Come through white balance.